Hi, this is Lauren from LSP. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add the floral texture overlays to a pale light background image using Photoshop CC. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, um, CC is your subscription Photoshop where you pay monthly and you have the Creative Cloud and you can update this regularly. If you're using an old standalone version such as CS4, CS5, CS6, or if you're using a limited version such as Photoshop Elements, um, this is not the tutorial you need to watch. You need to scroll down and find the correct tutorial for um, CC and um, sorry CS5, 6 and Photoshop Elements because this tutorial is using some of the more advanced techniques that are available to CC users. So let's get started. In your actions, you will notice that you have a um, mid to dark background section and you have a light and pale background section. This is the section we're going to be working with. You need to use the CC light background applicator. If you use the CS or PSE, it will work the same, but it won't make an accurate selection of your subject. So you'll have to do that manually. So it's quite important if you're using CC, you may as well make use of the features and click the CC action here. So just click this and it's going to open up the, um, the textures and find them on your computer. If it doesn't come up straight away, make sure you're coming from the unzipped textures. If you try and open a zip file, Photoshop's not going to recognize that, so you need to have extracted first. Um, any struggles with how to unzip and how to install the actions and get everything set up, please do watch video one. Okay, so let's go for um, this uh, love bomb. Okay, so I'm just going to flip this around a little bit, I think, to make this fit with the image. You can, um, at this stage, you can resize, you can move the texture. You can um, change it however you want. You can make it, you know, fatter or shorter or anything you want to make this kind of fit in with your image and hit enter. If the action does not continue playing, which on some versions it might not, you need to just click it again and it will carry on. OK, and you can see now the action has added. Um, it's made a selection of your subject. If you wish to um, refine the selection even more, the layer mask is already selected for you with a white brush, which means um, adding the texture in like this. But if you want to take the texture away, for example, say the texture had encroached onto your subject a little bit, you can switch to a black brush, make sure your brush is set to 100% opacity, normal, 25% flow, and you can paint this texture away from any areas. But for this beautiful image here by Anna Brandt, it's made a perfect subject selection. Um, it's one of the wonderful things about Creative Cloud. Underneath this, you'll see you have um, a black box, which means hidden, a black layer mask, a little bit like a lotto scratch card. Black means hidden and white means show. If you want to paint on this Gaussian blur, you can select a white brush and you can just paint this onto the background and you see it's blurring the background there. So if you wanted to get that depth of field, you can use that. You can also refine the blur further by clicking on um, Gaussian blur and it will come up with the options to change it if you want to. Get that giant brush down. <laughs> Above this, you have a fader paint. So if the texture is, um, I don't know, perhaps the texture is going over your subject a little bit here and you wish it, you know, to keep it like that, you can click on the fader paint and you can paint this on and it will add kind of a fade. Or let me just undo this. Mm -mm -mm. Or you can use fader paint to kind of fade areas of the texture down which mutes it even further. So you can see we're just fading the texture without using the integrity um, of the color there. And just undo that. Above this, um, you have changed the hue and saturation. You can turn this one on, double click the box and you get a hue and saturation box. So you can, you know, change the hue, the colors. It's really quite powerful. You can take saturation up or down. That allows you um, even more kind of editing when it comes to changing the texture to suit your image. Above this you have intensify, so you can turn this on and it will really bring out um, the kind of the powerful details of that texture. If at any point these are too strong, you can just click on them and change the opacity. You have lift and brighten if you want to make it look even lighter. You can turn that on or off, just click the little box and the eye will appear. And you have darken if you want to make this even kind of deeper um, to your image. Above here you have um, enhance the image, so if you wanted to um, adapt the tones of your image even more, you can just lightly rub this over to make the image look even more suited to the texture. And you have color match, this one is a little bit more powerful. Um, so you can play with that, change the opacity if you wanted to, just to add some of that toning in. So let's see before and after. Before 
and after. And you can try this with as many textures as you like. If you wish to refine this, I've just noticed, I'm just clicking on the, um, the texture and the layer mask, I've just noticed there's a little bit here that hasn't been selected. So I'm just going to grab the brush, make it nice and small and hard because you can see these are hard lines here, so you don't want a soft brush. And I'm just going to fill that in so you can really get in um, and change this, this selection here to suit your image. If you watch the um, adding a texture um, to the mid to dark backgrounds, the video before this one, I go into a little bit more about refining that selection if you want to know more about sections, um, selections, should I say. <laughs> so let's turn this on or off, on or off. We also have some extras here, the bonus extras. So you can click on the texture here, make sure you click on the texture. You can add um, the floral bean bag, that's for newborn photographers. Please do watch the specific video for that one. Adding floor perspective, that's not needed for this image, but if you have a full image, um, like a full length image that you wish to add perspective to the floor, which makes the texture flare out at the bottom, um, please again watch video two where I go into that one um, in a little bit more detail because it's exactly the same, whatever color background you're using. So video two is definitely worth a watch if you've landed on this one first. You can also do some other things. I add the cool toning here. We'll add a beautiful coolness to the texture if you wish to add that in. And you can play with the um, opacity. You can paint this on or off certain areas if you wanted to. And you have um, vintage toning. We'll add this kind of desaturated vintage brown warmth to the image there. So we can just play with that if you wanted to. You have a grain texture. This comes up as a, um, a black layer mask, which means you need a white brush. And you can paint this on just to add kind of even rougher texture to that image. So if it's not quite as textured um, to your liking, you can add that over. It looks really beautiful when you've also um, added a Gaussian blur in there too. Really, really beautiful. So if you've got these, um, it's really easy to add them. And then it's great fun to play with all these extra things you can do to the image. For example, dusty vignette. Just have a play and you will find out what works for you, what works for your images. Um, and how you can adapt these textures to make your image look absolutely beautiful. So let's see there before and after of before and after. And this one is using Love Bomb and the Vintage Collection. If you want to know how to manually add um, the textures without using the actions, add them um, completely by hand, you can watch video six where I go through that. And if you're a newborn photographer wishing to add um, textures to newborn beanbag fabric, Please do watch video 7 where I give you some great tips on how to do that. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.